Lemon Drop, y'all, with the one and only Jamar Lemon. I'm not gonna make that. Hey, Jamar, you wanna come on the show? Hello, everyone. Good morning. My name is Samar Lemon. I hope you all are having a beautiful morning. You are tuning in with the Lemon Drop. And today I got a very special person, a dangerous man. He go by the name Nigel Film. Would you like to introduce yourself, sir? Yes, yes. What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Nigel Fennell, uh, Richmond, Virginia native, uh, fighting all over the world, professional boxer, currently 14-3. Uh, got a world title fight coming up in the end, at the end of this month. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir, my man. I defend it. I got my my king of building. I was waiting. I, mean, I don't get no intro. All right, so hey, Nigel, I told you I'm from Philly, and uh, it may not be the realest thing, but this is this is our spirit where I come from. Hey, yo, Richmond, it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit, but keep moving forward. This is the Italian stallion. Say the one I leave Philly and come to RVA. I always check out my man, Mike King Biz, on ESPN, 5, 7 a.m. The champ of business talk radio, Eb, the man. That guy may not be real, but we need a statue for Smoking Joe in the city of Philadelphia. Smoking Joe. Smoking Joe. All right, so, uh, Nigel, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So how does how you get all of the, the cool, great guests? Thanks. Thanks to God and my mama. My mama, she hooked him up. Your yeah, mom, you yeah, seem to be yeah. on it. And Nigel, Nigel, one of my stepfather's friends and one of my cousin's friends, you know, we see Nigel all the time. Oh, so wait a minute. Oh, so you said, he got the Philly connection. Yeah, uh, Of course. Now, see, that's yeah, what I'm uh, talking about. All right, Nigel, how long you been boxing? Uh, too long, man. Uh, realistically, though, I've been boxing, i say about 16, 17 years. Uh, about 10 of those were my amateur years, and then the following six going on seven, and I've been professional. Yes, oh, yeah, that's a that's a long time. What, what made you decide, like, what age were you when you decided you wanted to become a professional boxer? Professional boxer? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I can say it. I can say boxer and professional boxer. Uh, I think I was, like, 12 years old. 12 going on 13, I remember just, I was up late at night, it was like around, maybe like 11 p.m., 12 oh. a.m., and I uh, was scrolling, um, excuse me, going through the channels and found HBO, and I saw Floyd Mayweather, he was, uh, I didn't know him at the time, I just saw a fighter, yeah. and he was preparing for uh, a major fight with a guy by the name of Ricky Hatton. Oh, and, the hit man! You know, Ricky <laughs> I'll go through that. <laughs> Did you think Ricky Hatton had a shot when he fought Floyd? I'm going to be honest. I didn't, know, I didn't know much about boxing at that time. I didn't know much about boxing. Um, I wanted to, you know, I was going with the brother of the yeah. American at that, you know, so I'm like, you know, I wanted to have a big brother. So, all right, so both you guys train. So, Samara, you're doing a the physical therapy. Yes, sir. And, uh, Nigel, talk about that, like, getting, you're getting, you got to keep your mind right for your physical fitness and your physical therapy. Nigel, you're doing it to get ready. Talk up a little bit about your part. 
my part of oh, physical therapy. Shoot, every day I wake up, um, you know, I don't be feeling it sometimes, some days I do, but I go and get it just like you now, you know, I, I see your I see your videos when you be getting in and working and you know, we, once you in that gym, you gotta lock in, you know, you gotta stay one track minded, focus, you can't let nothing, you know, pull you away from what you're trying to do. Cause once you start slipping, it's hard to get back on that track. And oh, yeah. yeah, it's just like you know, once once you step in that gym, it's like it's something else take over. It's like a a beast, your know, inner beast. And then you start working, and yeah, <laughs> you know the feeling. Yeah, absolutely. I want to elaborate on that. Um, like you know, us being you know males and just like natural athletes, you know, from you know childhood, teenage years, it's just a natural thing, but it you know it becomes like a different you know beast and you get to a different level you know once you get up there you know with you know fellow athletes and etc and just being physical isn't enough like yeah. working hard and training hard and enough then you have to add in that that discipline that mental you know ability you know you got to do what the next man isn't doing to get ahead you know not now all the time your skill and your you know physical attributes are going to be enough sometimes you got to do like i said the things that you don't want to do like going to bed early cutting off you know your friends you know for your own sake yes, you sir. know like going out you know telling your girlfriend like hey we can't do this you know being disciplined not eating certain foods it's, it's, yeah. you want to you know eat dumb food or a good Philly cheese steak you know, <laughs> you're throw it up on that run, run. yeah <laughs> So, <laughs> so Nigel, you're getting ready for are you you're going into training camp now? I'm 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 in training camp. I actually leave this afternoon, uh, excuse me, this evening. I fight in Russia next week. Yes sir, Thursday, yes sir. I today for Russia. And then I also fight um a back to back fights. I've never had anything like this in my career, but it, it's in front of me and I gotta take advantage of it. But I actually have a major title fight, uh, September twenty eighth in Miami. Um, I'm signed under Don King Promotions. That's my current promoter. Uh, so he's having a, a show up in you September twenty eighth and I'm on the undercard. I think I'm like the co main event or before that. Uh, this will be a turn around fight for the WBA and APA super lightweight title. So I got Russia today, I actually fight Wednesday, and then I got Miami at the end of the month. Yes, sir. So now, a quick, quick, serious question: How does it, how does it feel when you walking down the entrance to the ring and everybody like calling, like you know, celebrating? Oh wait, 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 one second. You know, all right, we got something for you, Nigel. We got something for you. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. All right, man. So tell us about the ring walk. That's what we yes, want to know. The, the ring walk. The ring walk, man. All right, Nigel, he then froze up for a second. That's what we do, the power of technology. So Mike is here, Samar is here. So Samar, how can people keep up with you? You can find me on Facebook at Samar Limits and on Instagram. You can find me at Samar Limits also. Samar Limits, all right, so how you been doing? It's been a while since you talked to you. It's been, I've been good, Mike. You know, going back and forth to therapy, doing things with my dad and my family, trying to motivate people and myself in and out of the workplace. How you been, Mike? I've been good. I'm trying to keep up with you. You know, I see you doing a fashion yeah. show, but I, you know, I, I didn't get an invite to, to walk in a fashion show. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Next time we're going to have No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not to do with the fashion yes, show. Yes, sir. So, uh, how's therapy going? So, you're doing some real cool things now. You still got the same team? Yeah, we got the same team. We got new people, new interns, new therapists coming there, new PT, new OTs coming there, work with different people daily. You know, it's going good in there for us. 
So uh, I saw your mom. I see you rocking with the football and, and the basketball and stuff like that. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everything is going good. It is always good when you're in the program. So uh, we lost Nigel. Yeah. So you know what? Well, we got the best part of him. We can't hold up. No. Yeah, he got stuff to do. He just yeah, can't be he, hanging out. He got, he got to make some wins. He's going to Russia. Yeah, so he got a victory fight coming up. Yeah, he's yes, going sir. to Russia. Yes, what? Where? I can't go nowhere. Yes, I mean, no matter where we go, it's not cool like going to Russia. No. No. Well, mm -hmm. What they got in there, Moscow or something? No, no, <laughs> yeah. Well, I can go to, I was in Colonial Heights. Yeah. I don't <laughs> think that's exactly, you know, people are like, oh, wow, you went to Colonial Heights? Not like we going to Russia. Yeah. Exactly. All right, so man, tell people when last time how they can find you out there. You can find me on Facebook at Samar Lemons or Instagram at Samar Lemons also. Or YouTube, Samar Lemons. So wait a second. So I saw your, your mom and your sister, they went to see Lele. Yes. At, yeah. At, when I talked to your mother, she said she they, they screamed from <laughs> yeah, beginning they, to end. Uh, they they love they love the movie theaters. I think Nigel back too. Nigel, you back? Yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been waiting for a while. Can you hear me? Yes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we lost you. No, I'm so sorry. I was, I was elaborating. I was explaining, you know, yeah. uh, the ring walk and et cetera. And, it, I mean, it got quiet out of surprise. You guys were listening. And, and then it no, was, man, sorry about that. No. Uh, Samar was just talking about his sister going to go see Lele. You know, and uh, and uh, I was just like, come on, man. We got to get back to boxing. <laughs> but no, not really. All right, so you're walking. You're focused on the ring. Because people are reaching at you, they're like, you're yelling, they're taking pictures, they're doing all that. Right, right. right. So you want to ignore, like, you get to a point where you got to and you want to ignore all that things because, you know, all that builds up emotion, it yeah. builds up anxiety, you know, so you really don't want that, you know, that's going to so, slow you down physically, it's going to tire you out, so you just learn how to, you know, develop that tunnel vision, you know, you get in the ring and... All you can see is your opponent and, and victory. And I see, and I see you. I see you on one of the picture with um, my boy Ryan Garcia. Um, how, how did you do that? Uh, it was cool. Uh, it's, it's a small world. Boxing is a small world. I've been in there with a lot of people, but I will say that's the biggest name I've been in. Yes, sir. I've had the opportunity. To did you spar with, him? My old coach. My old coach and him and his father are like great friends. So he was just like, yo, fight just like that man. A lot of yeah. people say that I don't see it, but a lot of people say I fight like that. I hate you. Uh -huh. So like, it's a perfect opportunity to help Ryan prepare for that. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I seen that picture. I said, yes, yeah, sir. He going to the top. He already there. Yeah. He just about to go higher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's there, man. And one thing I want to share about that, like, you know, of course, like coming up, you know, you're. I hate to say it, but like you're like a nobody in a sense. Yeah. But you know, you have to believe that like yo I'm gonna be there one day and yeah. at the same time not idolize idolize these guys because you can be in the ring with them when you're uh -huh. going to be in the ring with them one day and you don't wanna have like you don't wanna be starstruck you don't wanna give a guy too much respect because yeah. at the end of the day it's about you you know so I, I, I took note of these guys I, I took note of all the fighters in my weight class but at the end of the day like you know they're, they're human just like I am and, you know if we get in the ring you know gonna be no different. A lot of people ask me, how do you, what would you do if you had to fight this person? I'm like, I'm <laughs> The same thing I'm gonna do with the other people. Right. <laughs> That's right. You're gonna put that W on them. Yeah. Hey, talk a little bit about having Don King. I mean, when we're talking boxing, we're talking iconic. Talk about having Don King as a promoter. It's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, to say the least. Um, I know Don and the media and publicity has had a bad rap, you know, over the years, over the past 20, 30 years. Um, but I want to say it's been a privilege. Don is one of the biggest promoters, rather you know or, or don't know, is one of the biggest promoters in boxing. Maybe not currently, but he paved the way for a lot of fighters, you know, had Mom Ali, um, and so on, so on. A lot of great world champions, you know, and uh, he's a, he's a, you know, African-American just like I am. You know, so I take a lot of pride in that. I remember watching um, him uh, being at the Mike Tyson and uh, Lennox Lewis fight back in 2001. That was my very first fight I've ever seen, not in person, but live, um, like on TV, mm -hmm. pay per view. And I remember seeing him there, and here I am, what, what was it, 2001, like 22, 23 years later, signed with him. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's just unreal. 
Is, is that what he had on that uh that sparkly America jacket? He still wears it. He still wears it. Real. Yeah. What was it like the first time you walked in a room with Don King? It was cool. It was cool. Uh, Don is he's a, he's a funny guy, man. Uh, the first time I met him was at my press conference for my title fight last year. And I walked in, you know, sat on stage uh, directly beside Don King, right? And, you know, he's doing this thing. Oh, this is going to be such an entertaining fight. You guys don't want to miss Nigel's coming with that, and his opponent's coming with this, and I'm going to let Nigel speak for him, speak for himself. Where is Nigel? And, like, he's like, where is Nigel? They're like, he's right beside you. Like, dire, like as close as you guys are, me and Don King was right beside each other. You know, funny guy, funny guy, uh, but it, it's a pleasure to be on that. He just had his, like, 94th or 95th birthday a few weeks ago, you know, so still doing his thing at almost 100 years old. Here you go. Well, Nigel's here with us. We got my man Smart up back in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, it may sir. be a minute. You just be leaving yes, me hanging out. Love see you no life. more. That's what y'all you do big things. So you hanging out with big time players right here. Yes, sir. Yes, you know, sir. that's that's what you do. Alrighty, so uh Nigel, I know you got stuff to do. But you no, know, when you're back in town, so you guys come on back up here and we can, you know, chop it up. You're in the lemon drop with the boy Smart Lemons. Yes, sir. And he this is a big deal. So good luck to you. Uh, when you get back in town, make sure you hit us up. Good luck on your fight, too, man. The pleasure is all mine, and I, I can't wait to get to get in there physically with you guys and, you know, have our one-on-one -on -one with no interruptions, man. It's there you go. Great. I have a lot to talk about with my fight. Yes, sir. So good luck on your choice. Safe travels to you, man. All right, Nadia. All right, appreciate it. Thanks, now. Take care. Yes, sir.